Every single day, I get some type of message saying, Jade, how do I provide value? What does providing value mean to my audience? Who should I provide value to? I need you. Hey guys, so we're at the airport. We're going to leave San Jose. Oh, sorry, this is a bad angle. That's better. All right, guys, welcome to today's vlog. It's currently 10 a.m. We're going to catch our flight, but before we do, if you're new here, welcome. If you're not, hi, my name is Jade, and welcome to my business vlogs. Make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to the best channel on earth, best fam squad, the James Squad. Shout out to the car winner. Comment on this post to be featured in the next episode. Yeah, <laughs> really out of breath. This is what the San Jose airport looks like. By the way, the meetings went well, Dad. Closed one sale, I think he's had to close another sale. Good job, Dad. Go waver. Go squad. So we're gonna check in. Our flight's actually leaving at like 1 p.m. Um, and we're about just to hang out at the airport for a long time. Maybe film a video inside. Listen, I'm in the airport and I'm literally sitting on the floor to tell you this message. Every single day, I get some type of message saying, Jade, how do I provide value? What does providing value mean to my audience? Who should I provide value to? Like, I get so many questions. I honestly understand. Today, I'm gonna just kind of rant a bit because it's case by case and it's her niche. The way you provide value is different per person. That's why I have the Ask Jade show. That's why I created one-on-one -on -one coaching because to find out what you can bring and if you're good at it, it's worth a million dollars and a lot of people don't see that. I don't blame them. So this is my solution slash rant. I feel like people don't know how to be nice or you know resourceful anymore. It's just like post a cute selfie with emojis and the captions, call it good, and I better get thousands of likes. So, all right, let me break it down. Providing value can come in two forms, usually entertainment or educational, and anything else beside that, I'm not really sure. But you could do one of two things. If you're really funny, if your life is just cool, stay in the entertainment industry, make music, do your thing. If you're not talented, be educational, be valuable, be resourceful to someone. And if that's not enough information for you yet, I want to make it clear. Just like how YouTubers that do beauty tutorials are successful and have millions of subscribers are also the reason why a lot of Instagram comedians do really well because people find their stuff funny and when they're having a stressful day, they're able to go through their content, take a step from reality. If you can understand the dynamic of how people that are already successful are being successful, it's very rare that Alexis Ren, Kylie Jenner, and all those people, you know, don't have to do much. It's just like they're rare and if you're trying to base your success off of couple funny cute captions and pictures of yourself, and becoming Instagram famous off modeling. Like that's fine, but like there's no way you're gonna be at the point of trust and credibility as someone who actually puts out value. I want you to think, when you see a lot of influencers that like have 100K, 200K, and they're obviously kind of buying followers and likes, do you think they're like that happy as well? Like they're not posting any value, they're just like travel blog. Like you know how many travel bloggers I see that expect brands to pay them thousands of dollars per post for fake likes and followers it's just it doesn't make sense i get it it's for social proof please don't base your success off that the way you give value guys is three things and i talked about this i'll link my niche video below and i gave away like my top five ten niches you have to find a group of audience that you can be helpful to for example if you're targeting young kids i honestly think you're better out in the entertainment industry because when you're younger than 16 your whole world is youtube that's why jake paul is so successful but if you don't want to target kids like i work with one of my artists and he's like man i want to target college students but college students are stressful you know they have things to pay and they're looking for things to help their and benefit their lifestyle so then you could be you know helpful and educational the way you can display that is through instagram stories talk about i have something called the hashtag daily jade and i talk about just tips hey there welcome to today's daily jade d the place where you get your daily and then I also have my captions. My captions are paragraphs. I don't know, I feel like if you do stories and captions, you, that's just one way. If you can create a YouTube channel, that's another segue into giving value. Create a newsletter. If you don't like talking or writing, just create like a little email thing and just like market it through Instagram. There's so many ways. You could also DM people and then post your direct messages on your stories and have like your conversations up in public and people can come to you for advice or coaching. I know people are looking up to these influencers with like 500,000 followers, but do you understand they have a huge agency behind them that's managing the whole army of people like you can't compare yourself to that it's ludicrous you have to focus on your own and how you can bring value to your own people and if it's not working for you it's one of two things you're not doing it enough or you suck at it if you suck at it just move on to the next one that's why i just love entrepreneurship you don't have to limit yourself to anything or age or it doesn't matter where you came from i have so many messages people asking like i can't bring value because i'm not good enough you don't need to be an expert at everything you just need to be one step ahead of the group you're trying to help. For example, there was this movie I totally forgot and I'm never going to remember it. This movie had a teacher. The teacher didn't know what they were teaching. They just read one chapter ahead of the class and that's it. And you just only need to be one chapter ahead. You don't even need to finish the f 
book. Like I'd say it's better to start right now. It does look saturated, but if you pick a niche or a group of people that's actually to help you, I think you're better off doing that right now than later. Also, videos do really well on Instagram if you're able to talk and chat about a tutorial style thing. Look, think about it. There's a reason why Huda Beauty is ruling the entire beauty industry in Instagram because she posts beauty videos daily. I think like twice or three times a day. Like it doesn't even have to be your words all the time or your content all the time. It could be someone else's. Like you just have to give value out there. You know, the people you hate, like Jake Paul, I don't know, Logan, like they post a lot of to entertain their audience and they think that's valuable. If you don't, that's okay. I'm trying to give you guys more examples. I think Peter McKinnon is a great example for the photography industry. Like, although I think he definitely got lucky in timing or something, like I'm looking at his growth and it's miraculous. I'm giving you all the big boys like in the example, but again, you can't really base their success off them because they definitely had something called timing. They were just there in the game long enough to have some success. So I think you guys need to reach a point where you're able to give value to that extent. Like it's not gonna happen in six months, honey. It's gonna happen in six years five years two years it depends it honestly depends for example for me it took me like eight years like seven eight years of being in the game my time has recently came as when i say time i mean like the platform rewards the content and the content was pushed on youtube and you know people got recommended to my videos and it was just all a domino effect i hope that was helpful it really depends per niche and that's why i have a whole coaching strategy i will leave my links below if you guys want to check out the description box because i know it would be helpful to have one-on-one -on -one mentorship i always looked up to my dad for that and i will pass on any information I learned. My fight's leaving. Yeah, I hope this was a good video. What's up guys? Thank you so much for watching. Hold up. If you could do me a huge favor, give this video a like and hit that subscribe button to turn on my post notifications. That would mean the world to me and I really appreciate it. Mwah.